The relationship between staffing, the number of staff, and the patient experience is a conditional relationship. It's conditioned on the work process you're in. So if, if you can't change the work process, then probably having more people do it is going to help patients more. There's just more time to spread around. That's actually um, it's, it's an immature way to think about improvement. Adding stuff, space, computers, people, you can always make things better by doing that. But that's not the interesting question. The interesting question is, how could the work system, the environment, be redesigned so that we change the relationship between the staff and, and, and patients, staff and customers? Uh, always there's a way to do that. It may have to do with using the resources that the patient's bringing to you more and better. Uh, re re recognize the abundance of other talent that may surround you that you haven't drawn upon. It may have to do with taking waste out of your own work and processes. So, you know, if you're really thinking about improvement, you're asking the question, how can I make, how can I break the conditionality between excellence for the, for the patient and, and the number of staff? Obviously, you reach a point of, uh, where that no longer is, is, is proper. I mean, I've worked in extremely poor environments in Africa, seen them, uh, where there isn't anybody there to do the work. No, then you have to address, you know, people, the number of people as, 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 as a precondition. But the trick in improvement always asks the question, how could we change the work to take greater advantage of the abundance that is already there?